I have found no more powerful example than this one, and that is to step out of the classroom situation and go into sports. And I say, so, so think about that figure skater. The figure skater, the goal of the figure skater was to end up at the end of a competition on the podium, ideally getting the gold medal. So that, if you like, is summative assessment. This is assessment of learning. At the end of the day, how good was this skater's performance? But I ask you, how did the skater get there? The skater got there by working, of course, over months, maybe years, with a coach. And what did the coach do to help the skater get to the competition and ultimately make it onto the podium? Did the coach make constant use of scores and yell at the skater, that was a six today, that was a seven, that was an eight, that was a nine, a 10? Of course not. The coach provided descriptive feedback. And what's absolutely critical is that the coach working with the skater makes constant use of video evidence to analyze why are you having trouble with that triple watts? Let's look at it frame by frame and figure out what parts of that jump you're doing well and where the problem seems to be, and then we'll work at fixing that. Now I ask you, who's more invested in the skater's development? The judge at the competition who assigns points or the coach? It's a rhetorical question. Obviously, the coach is far more invested in the development, in the learning of the skater. But at the end of the day, it's about being judged, having a score attached to the performance, and hopefully it'll be something to celebrate. Now, when we walk into the classroom, of course, the challenge for the teacher is that they have to play both roles. They have to be the coach and the judge. But what's critical is, which role are they performing when? And does the student know that? And maybe more difficult, in, in a more complex way, does the parent know and understand that? I'm constantly seeing complaints from parents about teachers who are embracing assessment for learning. Oh, well, but if we don't give the marks, they won't do it. What we have to get away from, and Alfie Cohen's work in this area has been significant. We have to get away from if, the, if we don't assign marks, the child won't do it. The assigning of marks frequently gets in the way of deep learning, deep understanding that will be sustainable.